in the tub outside overnight last night uh, so I broke the ice and put the heater in it will melt the ice that one will stay liquid that heater will keep it liquid uh, but we have to clean out all the black ones because they will freeze solid and obviously this one inside will be fine Yep. Oh, you're all recording. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. so I'm going to show you guys how to uh, use gem sieve one more time. You've seen it once already. I'm going to show you with very, very specific material today. Because I'm going to use basically pure white quartz. Quartz specific gravity is 2.5. It's very light compared to other rocks. Very light. I have separated out a bunch of heavies, dark black rocks, and I'm going to put a handful of those dark black rocks in. So we have quartz that's very light, mostly magnetite in here, which is heavy. Its specific gravity is, I think, it's like four or five. It's pretty heavy stuff. So to start with, I'm going to use the gem sieve with just the two of these in here so you can see the separation of the materials. After that, I will put some garnets in, and we'll do it again with garnets so you can see where the garnets go. So first, we're going to throw in, now this is already classified down to minus one eighth. You can see anything small is going through, anything that is smaller than one sixteenth is falling through. So we have mostly quartz in there right now, I'm going to take a handful of the heavies. Oops, apparently I classified this down to quarter, it's okay, we don't have to worry about the big ones. A, a handful of the heavies in there. Now. Just like we showed you the other day on the creek, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to side to side, rock it back and forth, pulse it. I'm going to get out all the small stuff. All the stuff that will fit through the 1 16th sieve will go through. Now, the technique here of rocking back and forth and pulsing. Rocking back and forth and pulsing. Rotate. Rocking back and forth and pulsing. Rocking and pulsing. And we just keep doing that. And you'll notice that on the surface, all you basically see is white because all those heavies have gone through and are on the bottom. So I'm pulsing to get everything to the bottom. I'm rocking to bring all the heavies into the middle. Rocking, pulsing, and just keep that going. And then, when I'm happy, I think I've done enough here, I pull it out. Tip it on its side so it drains out all the water. And then we have to flip it onto a flat surface. And that's why I put the plywood over here. Come on over here. I'm hoping this works out. I haven't tried this before with getting very, very specific stuff. I'm hoping I may have put too many heavies in. It looks like my circle is pretty big. Okay, so we, remember we flip it towards us, not away from us. If we flip it away, the stuff just gets too much speed and gets flung. Flip it towards us, and down. And there you go. You can see all the lights around the outside, and all the heavies have moved into the center. Not quite perfect. It's not quite centered. I've got offside a little bit, and it didn't quite get the ball I would like, but it's close. It's close. Now, if I had any gems in here, they would be concentrated right in the center of that dark area. Let's do this again, but this time we'll put the gems in. Okay, so I have a little vial of garnets here. I have a little vial of garnets. There's maybe 20 or 30 garnets in there, nice and red. We're going to dump them in there as well, and let's do this one more time. Pulsing gets all the heavies to the bottom. Garnets are five to six specific gravity, so they're heavier than the quartz, they're heavier than the magnetite. Rotate it, pulse. One of our lessons we'll be doing over in the classroom one of these days is we'll be talking about specific gravity and what the actual specific gravity of different materials are. We're even going to calculate a few by measuring their volume and weight to calculate out what the specific gravity of a few things like granite and stuff like that is going to be. So rocking and pulsing, getting all that stuff to the center. I'm going to try to get a nice round ball in the center this time. And 
let's go see what this looks like. Draining up the water. Okay, and a nice flip. Okay, so you see the ring of black in the middle, and you can see right sitting on the surface. All the garnets are right there in the center of that heavies ring, and they're all right on top. All the garnets are right on top. That's where you would take your little pair of tweezers and go and pick out all the gems you wanted. Or if you want to save them for later, you just take that heavies at the center, put it somewhere for later. Okay, one more time. This time I'm gonna throw all those garnets in. It's gonna be great fun. I still got half them in. Now, because there's a whole lot more heavies I just put in here, that center ring will end up being a lot bigger. Usually you don't have that many heavies compared to your lights, so we'll have a really big black ring in the center. But what you'll notice with that many garnets in there is that the center is just going to be red when we're done. Remember to do your rocking right up at the surface. I have a bit of a bad habit of going underneath the water. Do it right at the surface. It brings everything into a much neater line. Drain the water out and we'll flip this one last time. Watch your back guys, watch your back. Oh, look at that. That was actually really good one. I got a perfect ring of the heavies, and you'll notice that the whole surface, the whole surface there, is red with garnets. Because they're the heaviest thing, they sink to the bottom, they concentrate in the middle. That's a great uh, little shot of what it looks like there. Lights around the outside, heavies in a ring, your gems right on the surface. There we go. I showed you last day how to start drilling your